to our BEE with Africana economic transformation. The government invested in startup Africana companies that became giants that eventually equaled those that belonged to the English. Why not do the same? There's nothing wrong, of course, with buying into the existing companies, but I'm saying that can't be the only model that we're focusing on. My view is let's invest in startups as well. But secondly, and again, colleagues here, I'm about to end. I don't want to be misunderstood. I do think that we have confused political economic empowerment with BEE. So a lot of what we call BEE is PEE, really. Because BEE would make sure that if you already are excelling, but you're being excluded because of your color, or you're being excluded because you haven't been given enough exposure, you are given that exposure. As a professional in the securities and investment profession, as a lawyer, as a small business person, you would be given an opportunity to start small and grow. And that's BEE as envisaged by Ms. De Laspa. When she started BEE and Women Economic Empowerment in the property industry, her approach was, we don't take you with a suitcase and we give you a multi-billion rent company, a multi-billion rent tender, just because we know your father, your mother, or your, your husband. We don't do that. We give you an opportunity to go and paint toilets, or an opportunity to go and build toilets, or to build small things. When you excel, you get bigger things. As you excel, you get bigger things. But it doesn't matter who you are. You don't have to belong to any political party. You don't have to have a known parent or a known friend. You just have to be a professional. You just have to be a startup business person who's already excelling. But the important thing, though, is not to lock people into startups is to provide means to make sure that startups grow and they become giants. How can we do that? Perhaps Shark Tank or Dragon Den offer another model of empowerment. Instead of taking government money from the PIC, IDC, and all of those other companies and buying a slice in the big existing companies. You start a small company, you get the big companies to invest in the small company and to bring resources there and bring shared experience into those companies. I also don't want to be understood to say that when you are small, you are incompetent and inexperienced. It's just bringing different kinds of exposure. And that applies not just for startup companies, it also applies for professionals, lawyers, accountants, and your kind of profession. It's just about partnering people to ensure excellence. I want to believe that if we are truly building skills, if we truly be building industries, real industries, if we're truly building entrepreneurs, that is going to be sustainable. I honestly believe that a lot of the people today who are millionaires and possibly billionaires will be gone tomorrow if we removed government tenders. And that for me is not economic transformation.